Yeah, yeah. She now rocking with Mr. Wit. A little flavor from Q Beats. You know that this a hit. Michael Jackson bad. Yeah, this is it. A few months ago, I was about to call it quits. Until I came across personalized math tutoring. FBT, the number one solution. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's lesson is going to be about graphing linear equations using the x and y intercepts. Let's check it out. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, you have in front of you your standard form of a linear equation, ax plus by equals to c, and also you have the definition and concept of the x-intercept and the y-intercept. First of all, let's talk about what is the x-intercept. When you're dealing with a line on the rectangular coordinate system, so notice here I have this black line. The x-axis is the horizontal line here in blue, whereas the y-axis is going to be the vertical line there in blue. Where the line crosses the x-axis, that intersection, this point right here, ladies and gentlemen, that's called the x-intercept, where the line crosses the x-axis. Likewise, where your line crosses the y-axis, ladies and gentlemen, is the y-intercept. The process for finding those two points, ladies and gentlemen, is when you're given your original equation, you simply plug in 0 for y and solve for x. That's how you find the x-intercept. One of the ways to find the y-intercept is to plug in 0 for x and then solve for y. All right, that's all you have to do, ladies and gentlemen. So let's look at a few problems and check out the process. All right, ladies and gentlemen, notice here I have in number one, 2x plus 3y equals to 6. In order to find out what the x-intercept is, ladies and gentlemen, that process is to plug in 0 for y and solve for x. So let's do just that. Here, I'll be saying that I have 2x plus 3 times 0 equals to 6. We know that 3 times 0 is 0, so that gives me 2x equals to 6. And then, in order to solve for x, all I have to do is divide both sides by 2. So my value is x equals to 3. As an ordered pair, ladies and gentlemen, this x-intercept can be written as 3, 0. So over here to the right, I'm going to use my xy chart to show that I have an ordered pair that is 3, 0, meaning that my value of x is 3 and my y value is 0. I know that y value is 0 because, ladies and gentlemen, we plugged in 0 into the equation. The end result of that was us finding out that x equals to 3. So that's my ordered pair. That's my point, 3, 0 for the x-intercept. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing to the y-intercept, ladies and gentlemen. However, with the y-intercept, I'm going to be plugging in the value of 0 in for x and then solving for y. So next, solving for the y-intercept, I'll have 2 times 0 plus 3y equals to 6. This gives me 3y, which equals to 6. And then dividing both sides by 3, ladies and gentlemen, I'll end up with y equaling to 2. So now that y equals to 2, as an ordered pair, my xy chart will show that I have a value of 0 for x. And when I have a value of 0 for x, my value of y is 2. So that completes my ordered pair there, ladies and gentlemen. With those two points, I can go ahead and plot them on my Cartesian plane and graph my line. So my my first point for the x-intercept is 3, 0. So I'll have a point right here. And then I'll have the point 0, 2. So that means I start at the origin and I go up two places. So that'll be my second point. All I have to do then is connect the dots with arrows on both ends. And that's my line, ladies and gentlemen. And that does it for that original problem, which is 2x plus 3y equals to 6. And this is the graph of it using the x and y intercept, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next problem, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, in our next problem, notice that we have x plus 4y equals to 4. Well, in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, in order to find the x-intercept, remember, all we have to do is plug in 0 for y and then solve for x. So that's exactly what I'll do here. I'm going to have this as x plus 4 times 0 equals to 4. This gives me x equals to 4. All right. So as an ordered pair on my xy chart, I can show that I have a value of 4 when my y value is 0. So the ordered pair, that point, is 4, 0 for the x-intercept.
So now solving for the y intercept, I'm going to be doing the reverse of this process. I'm going to be plugging in 0 for x and solving for y. So this gives me a result. That's an ugly 4. All right. So this gives me a result of 4y equals to 4. And then solving for y, I end up with y equals to 1. So when my x value is 0, my y value is 1. So on my xy chart, I'll put in 0, 1. With those two points, ladies and gentlemen, we can graph the line using the x and y intercept. So plotting for 0 on my xy axis here, I'll have 4 on the x axis. I'll also have 1 on the y axis. So connecting the dots, ladies and gentlemen, I'll end up with this line here that represents the equation x plus 4y equals to 4. Once again, we plugged in 0 for y to get our x-intercept. We plug in 0 for x to solve for our y-intercept. And then we can write this in our xy chart here as 4, 0, 0, 1 for the x-intercept ordered pair and the y-intercept ordered pair. And then we plot those two points and connect the dots, arrows on both ends. And that is the graph of your linear equation. All right, let's check out the next problem. In the next problem, I have 5x plus 2y equals to 10. If I'm solving for the x-intercept, once again, you'll be plugging in 0 for y and then solving for x. So let's do just that. We'll have 5x plus 2 times 0 equals to 10. This gives me 5x, which now equals to 10, dividing both sides by 5, I end up with x equals to 2. So now that x equals a 2, as an ordered pair, I can write that as 2, 0. Then for the y-intercept, I'll be plugging in 0 for x and then solving for y. So rewriting this, I'll have 5 times 0 plus 2y equals to 10. This gives me a result of 2y, which equals a 10, and then dividing both sides by 2, I'll end up with y equaling to 5. So this gives me an ordered pair of 0, 5. I know the x value is 0 because that's what I plugged into the equation. And when I solved for y, my y value equals to 5. So that gives me an ordered pair of 0, 5. Remember, an ordered pair is just another way to say a point. Every point has an x and y value. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be plotting 2, 0 on the... Cartesian plane here on this rectangular coordinate system. So 2 on the x-axis will fall right here. Then 0, 5 on the y-axis will be right here where I have my point. Connecting those two points, ladies and gentlemen, you'll end up with your linear equation graphed. All right. So remember, when you're graphing a line, make sure you have arrows on either end of it to show that it goes into infinity in both directions there. All right. So there is your graph. Once again, the x-intercept, you plug in 0 for y. You solve for x. For the y-intercept, you plug in 0 for x and then solve for y. These can be written as ordered pairs. So for the x-intercept, I wrote it as 2, 0. For the y-intercept, I wrote it as 0, 5. And then we plotted both points on our rectangular coordinate system. So that gave me 2, 0 on my x-axis and then 0, 5 on the y-axis. Connect the dots and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. In our next example, we have... 2y equals to 3, ladies and gentlemen. 2y equals to 3. Notice in this problem, we do not have an x variable in the equation. So what you can do is you can solve for y at the beginning. So I can start by dividing both sides by 2. And after I divide both sides by 2, I'll end up with y equals to 3 halves. Anytime you have y equals to a number, you'll be dealing with a horizontal line. So the format of y equals to a number is a horizontal line every single time, ladies and gentlemen. Every single time you have y equals to a number, it's a horizontal line. All right. So just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. So for this problem, we have y equals to 3 halves. So when you're looking for a x-intercept, ladies and gentlemen, unless this is y equals to 0, you're not going to have an x-intercept. So in this case, remember, solving for the x-intercept is not possible because, one, you don't have your x variable in this problem right here. And this horizontal line is not the actual x-axis itself. 
you know that you're dealing with the x-axis anytime it has y equals to zero but in this case it's y equals to three halves so that's not the case so we do not have an x-intercept so in fact ladies and gentlemen if they were to ask you what's the x-intercept your answer would be none in that case you do not have an x-intercept for the equation y equals to three halves as far as your y-intercept goes you have a y-intercept of y equals to three halves so as an ordered pair ladies and gentlemen you could simply write that as as zero and then three halves if you needed additional points on this XY chart because your Y value will always be three halves ladies and gentlemen you can continue to write as many points as you like with a value of three halves for Y as far as your X variable is concerned you can just generate any value you choose so for instance I'm gonna use negative two and I'm gonna use positive one just for an example if your teacher requires you to have additional points on your graph as I have here this is showing that I have three points then all you have to do is just make up a value for X and plug it into the original equation and solve for Y and that will give you an additional point on the graph so keep that in mind once again if you need one more point or two more points on your XY chart in order to graph it if your teacher requires more than just two points then all you have to do is just make up an X value plug it into the original equation and solve for Y to give you that Y value so keep that in mind ladies and gentlemen so here let's plot these three points so here I have Y equals to three halves ladies and gentlemen I know that three halves is the same thing as one and a half if I were to convert that improper fraction into a mixed number so by doing that this is going to make it easier for me to plot on the rectangular coordinate system here so I know that every time I see three halves it's the same thing as one and a half so my first point is going to be zero and then one and a half is going to give me a point right here then at negative two on the x-axis I'm gonna go up to one and a half then I have positive one on the x-axis I'm gonna go up to one and a half and if you notice ladies and gentlemen we have these three points lined up horizontally and if I put a line through it with arrows on both ends I have the graph of my linear equation ladies and gentlemen so once again the graph of y equals to three halves or y equals to one and a half is as you see in front of you right there going through one and a half on the y-axis ladies and gentlemen well that concludes this lesson for today ladies and gentlemen this was graphing linear equations with x and y intercepts and as always please rate comment and subscribe we appreciate your comments and we appreciate your request and ladies and gentlemen if you're putting in requests sometimes it's going to take us a while to get to it but we have you on the list if you're interested in doing an intro or outro for any of our videos please send that information ladies and gentlemen your audio file your video file to fbt at tutormemath.net ladies and gentlemen and have a good one bye bye so what you waiting on everything is online just hit the website they even got facetime subscribe to the youtube request the video watch your math skills go from all right to incredible they got math got algebra got geometry pre -cal calculus can't forget trigonometry there's nothing before one so that's what i'ma be headed to the mountaintop that's all i see yeah